eleven to blizzards, blizzards, to bears stuck in trees. Bears. Jack Harper is seen and covered it all in his thirty five years here at New Center Five. And tonight, uh, Jack, do you want me to call you venerable or what? Uh, old. Old. <laughs> <laughs> he wants me to call him old. No, He's not don't. Old. He's our friend, and he's signing off, but not before we take a look back at an unforgettable career. Liz, I'm sure the aerials of the Longfellow are beautiful, but it's kind of like a person you might meet in a bar late at night. When you get really close, it doesn't look quite as good as you thought. Unique humor, a big heart, and an even bigger legend. Oh, hi. Hey, I ask, how are you? Oh, I feel like I'm next to, like, royalty. <laughs> they truly broke the TV mold with Jack Harper. He continued icing on the highways. Flop like that, hitting people in the face. You just don't make him like Jack anymore. We've all been lucky to have him and his honest advice for more than 30 years. Let's begin with some advice for our friend the bear. There are a million trees in Athol, and this one right here, behind the bank, not the best place to hide out. Laugh or cry, Jack always had the right touch. Danny always wears a tie and jacket. He has some speech issues. A few other kids had been picking on him about that, and yesterday his team dressed up to show they don't approve. We heard that Danny was getting picked on, so we thought that we would all have a day to dress up like Danny, <laughs> show Danny that we love him. Jack's biggest gift, making people feel, whether it was hope, or grief. It's our nature to look for something good and everything bad. For many Oklahomans and the rest of us, Bailey Allman was an arm full of hope. Friday, she died, one day short of her first birthday. Jack was the right man for the toughest assignments. New Center 5's Jack Harper is live in Manhattan now with more. Jack? This latest missing persons wall just happened to spring up here a little while ago. It's the product of people who are feeling desperation, not knowing what happened to their loved ones. You can't walk by without stopping to look at those faces and to think about what all has happened here. Every story, every moment, always memorable. I have a pink scooter. A pink scooter? <laughs> Does anybody tease you about that? My sister does. <laughs> what did she say? Treating pink is for girls only. <laughs> Jack, I, I said you looked a little cranky. Or <laughs> that probably wasn't fair, but you did get up early. Good morning. Yeah, usually, Heather, I'm watching you in my underwear, so. <laughs> now there's a picture. <laughs> How's that for a picture for the rest of the morning? Huh? That'll melt some snow. But the one thing we know Jack won't miss winter weather. Wow, Jack, that looks horrible. It really is, Heather. I could be doing a commercial on financial planning because if I'd planned better, I wouldn't be here. Jack, it's it's just coming down thick. Keeps coming down, Heather. You know, I have a colonoscopy later in the week, and I'm actually looking forward to it. We're happy for you, Jack. My new graphic for every time I have to cover this stuff. But we're going to miss you. The administration is looking into the possibility of, <laughs> of moving police headquarters. <laughs> Isn't that awful? <laughs> I think we'd better say good night. <laughs> say good night, Jack. Good night. Good night. <laughs> oh, Jack. Ladies and gentlemen, Level Jack Harper. Four. Yes. <laughs> you are. Well, thanks. I thank you guys. You but are. For those who ask, though, first of all, I've gotten so many wonderful messages. Yeah. It is unbelievable what people have said and the things they've said. I'm so appreciative of that. But I'm just a front guy for some really talented people. They've done the work, the people who are here now, the people who were here years ago, and I just sort of go out in front and uh, put it all together for them. But uh, I'm a, pr a sort of a product of some really talented people. Oh, no, 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 don't downplay <laughs> it. There's been, honestly, and this is the truth, he, there's been no better storyteller mm -hmm. I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and, and Jack never got in the way of the story. I right. appreciate that. Ed. He thank brought the story much. to you, right. and, and he never got in the way. And yeah. Guest camera, writer. We'll miss that. Maybe I'm, I'm camera shy. I don't like to be on camera, so maybe that's why. <laughs> that's but, not true. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere. We have something for you, so you can't go away. But first, would you do me a favor? What's that? wonkum has got the weather, so would you throw it over there, please? Uh, wonkum has got the weather. I'll throw it over there. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, we got to bring you back for those winter storms. I mean, just one or two blizzards. They're always such a treat for us to watch. Well.